Hey guys, so today we will be talking about Windows 8. Yeah guys, I know Windows 7 has been out for less than a year, but it's already about time to start thinking ahead to the future of what Windows is going to be about. Um, so guys, we've got some information. Um, there's some uh, leaked slides from Microsoft talking about some different features that they're playing on, including. And then, um, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts, my opinions, what I think that uh, Microsoft needs to go ahead and add with Windows 8. Okay guys, so the first thing is it looks like they're going to be integrating a new sort of login system. So instead of just sitting down, turning on the computer and you know waiting for it to boot and then typing in your password, they seem to streamline it. Um, they want it to be very, very fast boot times and then they want to go ahead and let you log in just with your webcam via face recognition software. Wait. What? Okay guys, so the next thing is that Windows looks like it is going to be getting an app store. Um, so guys, of course, there are app stores on most phones, such as the iPhone, Android, etc, etc. And there also is, on Google Chrome, as well as Google Chrome OS, a web store. So it seems like it's a pretty good bet that w Windows is going to go ahead and integrate this into Windows 8. Um, so guys, we don't have a whole lot of specifics, as you guys can see in these slides here. They have a few rough mock-ups, but I mean, it's still a probably a good ways out, of course, until until Windows 8 comes out. Um, but this is a really cool feature, guys. Um, it will be nice to go ahead and get a lot of software just from one source. So you're not going to be, you know, needing to go, you know, buy CDs of, you know, stuff and deal with activation codes and everything. You can go ahead and just download whatever you need right off the Windows App Store. Um, so guys, this looks really cool, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it implemented in Windows 8. Something else we expect in Windows 8 is that they will be cleaning up some stuff. Um, so they should add some su better support for solid-state drives. Um, in addition, they should add full support for USB 3.0, which is really good. Um, on the other hand, it looks like they will probably be removing support for FireWire, which isn't that big of a deal. Not many computers use FireWire these days. This USB 2.0 is great enough as is, and USB 3.0 should be just fine. Okay guys, so now on to my predictions about what I expect to see in Windows 8. Um, so the first thing is definitely, and I touched on this a little bit earlier, is that improved boot times. Um, so of course, Windows 7 was quite a bit faster booting than Windows Vista, and I expect to see this trend continue in Windows 8. Especially considering that Google Chrome OS is going to be you know, booting in less than 10 seconds. That's going to be you know, a pretty, uh, pretty stiff competition. Um, so guys, but probably the, one, the number one thing that I'm looking forward to is to see a real redesign of Windows. Um, so of course, Windows 7 was very, very similar to Vista. I mean, you know, there wasn't a huge difference. Of course, there was a lot of really, really nice improvements in Windows 7. But for all intents and purposes, it was a very similar operating system. Well guys, I hope to see a major overhaul of Windows. Um, so guys, if you're if you uh, you know a little bit about Windows and computers and how it all works, you'll know that Windows is based off of a pretty old kind of design. You know, there's it's it's just kind of like old school. You know, you know, quite a few years ago, I really Microsoft wants to go ahead and redo Windows. Um, you know, really spend a lot of time and just you know kind of almost start from scratch. I think that it will become a very very good operating system. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Windows 7, it's, it's probably my favorite operating system ever, but I mean, it could be quite a bit faster, it could work a lot better, um, you know, the security could be a lot better, if they decided to, you know, just restart from the ground up. In addition, I hope to see an improved interface. Um, not to say anything against Windows 7, it's a pretty good interface, you know, the, the taskbar, I like that, there's a lot of really good improvements, but I hope to see Windows 8 improve upon that. Um, so, you know, I like Aero Glass. I think that's a really you know, cool look. I hope they imp uh, implement that farther. Um, you know, they continue to really make it just a really nice looking OS. But they also need to really c focus on the functionality. Um, so take, for example, folders. Um, you know, of course, they did make a, a step forward with libraries in Windows 7. But still, it can be just a little bit clunky. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really work as well as you might hope. Sometimes it might take you a minute to go click through a few menus to find your files. Well, if they can integrate a really, really central search, so you can find any file, you know, with maybe just a keystroke or two, that would be fantastic. And even though Windows 7 search is not that bad by any stretch of the imagination, it does take a couple of seconds. If they could really have it, you know, Google fast, you know, where you type something in and it's up, you know, in a tenth of a second, they could really integrate that and then have it, you know, not where you have to open up the search menu, they could have it centrally located, then that would be a huge improvement. Okay guys, so that's it for this very early wrap up of Windows 8. Um, so I have a question for you guys. 
Um, so if you're using Windows right now, what are you looking forward to? And if you guys are using Mac or Linux, what features does Windows need to add to go ahead and get you to change back over? Don't let me know in the comments. I'm curious to know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.